let's deal with Halloween. Why should a Christian not observe Halloween? You open the gateways and portal to the spirit realm of darkness, entrapments, setups, plots, schemes, and wild that the devil takes over your children, takes over your family. And it's so demonic that, that once you put on a costume and you put on an outfit, you change the identity or who God called you to be. And once you put that costume and that identity on that you describe yourself, say you dress like Brother Ariel, the little mermaid, your marine spirit. You dress like Casper, the family ghost. You say, well, I'm not dressing my kid as a witch and a devil. I'm dressing my uh, Casper, the family ghost. You put on a spirit on your child. You change the DNA of the identity. And now the devil has legal rights and he has uh, he has permission that you gave him that you sacrifice your kids spiritually to the dark side. But what it's if you terrible. say it's just fun and games and parties and you're ridiculous, John Ramirez? What would you say? Well, well I tell you know, I tell my, I lived it for 25 years of my life. I got married in Halloween. I had a demonic wedding with witches and warlock coming into my wedding, baptizing October 31st and November 1st is the two death is the month of October, at least up to October 31st. It ramps up to October 31st because it's the high season of the witches and warlock, the third quarter to finish strong in December. Because if you don't finish strong in December and what the ingredients and the recipe and the spells and the mandate and the mission that the devil gave you from January to December, if you don't finish and you have an incomplete report card, punishment is coming to your house. And that's, I, I've been there. I lost my eyesight in 1997. The devil took my eyesight completely blind with the commission of the blind in New York City, New York State, because I wanted to take a sabbatical from witchcraft and I wanted to be a good dad to my daughter. What about certain movies? <laughs> you watch TV, it's many of them. But there's mm -hmm. one that's very popular now. It's called Hocus Pocus 2. What's wrong with that? I haven't seen it, but it's Disney. That's all I know. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's so despicable how they dress up the devil and make it glamorous, make it cultural, make it fun, make it attractive, make it a fashion thing. Because I saw... I saw clips of the movie to break down the demonic on it. And in Hocus Pocus, it is a, is a saying that you say that you come in agreement with the devil. Uh, ab abracadabra, uh, open sesame. These words have connotation to the dark side. You're chanting the words. Proverbs 18, 21 said, life and death lays on your tongue. Whatever death you speak, you make a contract with the devil. Hocus Pocus, we, it aims for young people. It's a target. It's designed for, to be glamorous, but the targets and the contents of the movie, we have a we have a part of the movie that the, that, that the young people, uh, they chant the song, you know.